Do you know that there's an hidden color grading feature inside the Retouching Academy panel? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily use that color grading feature inside the Retouching Academy to color grade your image. Let's jump straight into Photoshop right now so I can show you. Now that we're in Photoshop, I'm going to be using this image right here to explain how you can use it for light skin and also this image right here to explain how you can color grade dark skin as well. So let's start with the light skin right here. So to use that feature, all you have to do is come to your Retouching Academy and you must first of all have this Retouching Academy before you can use that feature. So once you come to this Retouching Academy, just come to this magic skin tool right here. So once you click on this magic skin tool, you're just going to create a new group. And inside this group, there are couples of layers right here that Retouching Academy just run for you. So all you have to do is just close the layer. Don't worry about those layers. Just close the layer. And this layer mask right here that is on black. Just pick your normal brush tool and make sure your opacity is set 100. Make sure your flare is set 100. Just paint on the skin of the image like that. And it's just going to paint colors on the image. So let, let me just make the intensity obvious so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to click on this place right here and just change the color so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to change the color to this um, color right here. Let me just use blue so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to paint on this layer mask with this blue color right here. I'm going to change the color later, but I just want you to see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to paint on the skin. So the second step, after you click on that magic skin tool in the Retouching Academy, just make sure you paint on the skin. So anywhere that has skin on the image, just make sure you paint on those parts of the image that has skin. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So remember what I'm trying to do, we're trying to color grade this image. Okay. So after making selection of the whole skin, you can see I did not paint on the lips and also I did not paint on the eyes right here. I just paint on only those part that has skin on the image. Now next I'm going to do, I'm just going to feather it to smooth out the edges. So I'm going to feather it a little bit like this. And so after that, I'm going to color grade this image right now. So color grade the image, just come back to this color right here which you change, which is this adjust saturation here. So you just click on it and just add any color you want. So if you want to add yellows to this image, I'm just going to come to yellows and just add yellows like that. So if I just move this slider right here, let me just move this place up like this. So if I just move this slider like this, you can see I'm adding reds to the image. I'm adding yellows to the image. I'm adding greens to the image. I'm adding cyan's. I'm adding blues. I'm adding red. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to look for a color that fits this image right here. So I'm going to take it to this yellow part right here and just move it towards this orange part. So I'm going to click on this box, just move it around the color and see which color works best for the image. So I'm just trying to see which color works best for the image. So for this kind of image, I feel this color right here works for me for this image. So I'm going to leave it like this and click on OK. Now, next I'm going to do this place that say adjust the hue. I'm going to click on it as well. I'm going to open this color dialog box again. But what I can do, I can just use my picker tool. So if I just hover around the image, I'm going to see this picker tool icon. I can just click on the image right here. And it's going to pick any colors on the skin which I want the image to look like. Just to make it look uniform. But I don't want that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to manually select the color. So with this box right here, I'm going to click around the box and just pick which color works for me. So I think this color right here works for me for this image. So I'm going to click on OK. Now I'm going to close it and show you the before and after so you can see what, we, what we've done so far. So this is the before. You can see how the image is looking. This is the after. This is the before and this is the after. Now I feel the intensity of this color is too much. So I'm just going to reduce the opacity. So I'll come to my opacity right here and just take the slider down until I feel it's OK. So I think 70 works for me. I'm going to leave it to 70. So this is the before and this is the after. You can see we've successfully color graded this image, the before and the after. And if you don't like this color I used, you can just open the group, click on this adjust saturation here. So once you click on it, you, are just going, you can just pick any color you want. So let's say I want to make it a little bit yellowish. You can just move it towards the yellow side like this. And it's going to look a little bit yellowish. And also you can do the same thing for the adjust the hue right here. So just click on this color right here and just move your slider until you feel it's looking good and click on OK. But I like that one I did before, so I'm just going to undo it like this so you can see. This is the before and this is the after, the before and the after. So that's how you can easily color grade light skin tone using this magic skin tone color inside of the Retouching Academy. So now let's move to this dark skin right here. So for this dark skin right here, what I want to achieve for this image, I want to achieve that dark blending skin tone. 
So if you want to color grade your image, it depends on what you are going for, the kind of image you want. It depends on you, what you really want. But if you are touching for a client, make sure you do what the clients want. But if you are touching your own personal image, it doesn't matter the kind of color grading you do, just make sure you like it and it works for you. So just use it so there's no perfect color grading. So for this image right here, I want to get that dark blue on the screen too. So what I'm going to do, I'll come to this magic screen tool right here. I'm going to click on it once. I'm just going to run that action again. And I'm going to paint on the skin. So if you want to see where you are brushing on your image without changing the colors, all you have to do is show the mask. And to show mask in Photoshop, just press the backlash key on your keyboard and it's going to show you the mask like this. So those parts that I'm painting right now are the parts that are visible. So I'm going to paint on only the parts of the skins and just make it visible like that. While those parts that are red are the parts that are masked that, that you are not painting on. So you can either change the color or you can use this mask to see where you are painting on so you can know where you are painting on. Alright, I think we've painted the skin on this image. And if you feel you paint outside the, uh, like let's say you paint in the background like here, as you can see right here. You can just switch to a black brush and just paint right back in like that. So you just have to be precise and paint this part right back in like that. Switch to white brush again and just paint on the skin again to so add those effects to the skin like that. All right, I feel it's okay like this. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to press on the backlash key again to hide this mask. I'm going to click on it and it's going to hide that mask. So after I finish painting on the skin, I'm going to open this group, come back to this group, click on it to open it. And this first layer I said adjust the hue and saturation. I'm just going to double click and it's going to open this color picker dialog box right here. And I'm just going to change the color to anywhere I want. So like I said, like you can choose any color you want. But since I'm going for that dark melanin skin too, I'm just going to move this one towards this um, orange side. And just hover around this box in the middle, this box right here. And just move it towards the dark part like that. Since I'm going for that dark melanin skin too, I'm going to take it down like this. So I feel somewhere around here works for me. I'm going to click on OK. And also I'll come to this other layer that says adjust the hue and saturation right here. I'm going to double click on it and it's going to open this dialog box again and I'm just going to move it towards this side down like this this dark part so get that dark melanin skin tone you can see we already have it right now so I'll just click on OK now let's see the before and after let me just zoom in so you can see so this is the before and this is the after the before and the after now looking at this image I feel I missed some part which I supposed to brush on so I'm going to pick my brush tool again and just make sure this layer mask is selected and just paint on those parts which I missed before like these parts right here I missed them before so I'm going to paint them back in like that okay okay alright so let's see the before and after this is the before and this is the after so you can see right now we have that dark melanin skin to which I was initially going for and also if you don't want this color right say so let's say you want to add a little of reds to the image you can just open this group again, come to your adjust the hue and saturation, click on it and just move this place towards the red side and just take it up towards the red side like that towards a little of red to the image if that's what you want. And now you can see the before and after, the before and the after. And like I said earlier, like, if you feel this effect is too much, you can always reduce the opacity. But I like mine like this, I'm going to leave it in 100% and before and after. So that's how you can easily color grade your image using the magic skin tune inside the retouching academy and i've used this method to color grade my photo editing gigs and it has working for me and i decided to share it with you guys if you want to learn how to color grade your image using lightroom capture one camera make sure to click on this video show right here i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative